Hey guys, Todd from Great Escape Farms here. This is kind of an introduction to fence removal. Uh, I need to replace and do a lot of work around here with my fence to try to keep the deer out. So as you can see right here in front of me, this is just a cherry tree right here, but I have all kinds of other trees in here, as well as in my orchard, I'm competing with the deer to get the apples before they do. In the back there by the garage, I have a nursery business and I have uh, several deer coming in and eating my plants out of there. I'm trying to get a, an, an elderberry farm up and running and they are eating all of my young seedlings and young plants there. So I have to do something. So what I decided to do was put in something called a poly extension kit, which will add four feet to an existing four feet fence. So what I have here is a four foot fence. What the poly extension kit is, is basically a pole that connects up, goes up four foot, and it has poly mesh that goes across it. It seems to be somewhat rated good, and it is good for adding to existing four foot fence. So down underneath, just as a side note, you'll notice I have field fence in here. Uh, the field fence is just to keep my dogs in but the rest of it eventually is going to try to keep the deer out. So I have 250 foot here. I will be able to keep. Uh, I will have a lot of fence up here that I need to replace. And that was on the to-do list anyhow to replace this fence up here. So for one, this is only a three foot fence right here. I want to go up to four foot uh, with the field fence itself, but I need to replace all of these posts here. So I need to do that along the front and along the side over there. So I have about 500 foot of uh, fence that I need to replace. And I also have something called high tensile fence. So the person who lived here before me had a uh, several horses and they had high tensile with the electric fence. So I will run you back and show you what that looks like in a minute, but there is 850 feet of the high tensile and I've spent the last two days removing that. So this video is, like I say, is an introduction. It's gonna show you, or it's telling you what I'm gonna be telling you in the next couple of videos. So I will do a separate video on removing the field fence here, a separate one on how to remove the high tensile fence and how to save the parts. Uh, and there's several tools that are new to me. So I'll be doing a product review on those as well. Some tools that I've used before and others might not have seen like a T-post remover and stuff like that. So I'll be doing several different product reviews on those. And then I'm actually contracting out having somebody else put the fence in. So while they're doing it, I'll be taking video of that and showing you how that's done. So Okay, I'm standing in front of the high tensile wire here. So this is six strands of wire, two of which were hot, which would be on the insulators here, the uh, upper one and the lower one here. So uh, they had them spread out. And like I said, they had horses here that they were trying to keep in inside the fence here. And they have wood posts about every third or fourth. And in between, they have T-posts. Let me come over the T-posts here. You'll see also on the top, they have insulators here uh, on the same one. So the insulators are used to, so that you don't ground out the electric and make it so that it's, it's not strong enough to keep the larger animals in. So the gentleman that was here before me, he took the charging system with him. So the wire was left, but he did not leave the charger. So the system hasn't been of too much use to me. It doesn't stop anything. Wouldn't even stop my little small rat terriers here. They would go right through this fence uh, just uh, because there's no uh, vertical slats here. So I'll be replacing this with the field fence. And again, the reason I want to do that is so that I have wood posts every eight feet so that I can go up. And the whole goal of this project is to keep the deer out of the area here. So I am fencing in some of the wooded area here. I'll use some of this for storage, as well as we plan on doing some mushroom logs and some beehives in here in the future. And it will also 
cover in the entire yard up there, which will have a lot of permaculture stuff. I plan on adding in some swales there, a hugel culture mound back in, in this area, planting a lot of stuff into it, and that it, I've been doing nothing but fighting deer. So this will hopefully resolve that problem. So look forward to a lot more videos coming out in the future. I will set up a playlist, and this will be the video number one in the playlist. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our future videos. Thank you very much for tuning in and have a great day.